Hello, welcome to Real Frank Movie Reviews. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the movie The Marvels, starring Brie Larson, Tayona Paris, Iman Valani, Samuel L. Jackson, and directed by Nia Da Costa. Three female superheroes. Have we ever seen that before? Charlie's Angels, the original. Charlie's Angels, the reboot. Charlie's Angels, the reboot again for the third time. What are they looking at? My special guest reviewer and I are going to take a look at this movie and see if it lives up to the standards of other Marvel movies and where this thing falls in the Marvel Universe. Or did Marvel jump the shark? We'll get into all that next. Real Frank. All right, let's welcome back the Real Frank Channel's Marvel expert, Niles. Niles, welcome back. It's been a while. Great to have you. It has been a long time, man. I, mi I missed you, man. I missed you here. <sighs> I missed you too. You went and saw it. Could you give our audience a brief summary of what the movie was about? The villain, Darben, uh, she's uh, going out and she's trying to defend her home world of Hala. And she's uh she's found a way. She's got the, she found the bangles, uh Miss Marvel. She had them and she's basically trying to take them and save save her people at the end of the day. And there's, you know, a, a big conflict with uh the Kree and the skulls. Now I felt a little lost in the beginning of this movie, like because I haven't watched anything on Disney Plus or any of the TV series in some time. As far as Miss Marvel, you know, everything information I feel like that was dealing in that show. If you're not a regular movie watcher or a Disney Plus subscriber, you're not gonna know what that means. And that's why I feel like the Marvels was a poorly put together film. So I was right in being confused and kind of lost. Absolutely, that was poorly structured. You know, when they said they started this Disney Plus thing and they were gonna do series and they said, you won't even have to watch the series to catch up and be caught up with the main storyline of the whole MCU. That's false. They put that movie together poorly. Yeah. You are not gonna know anything for real as far as uh the i guess the miss marvel the, the entire marvel section of the mcu even if i did understand the movie i gotta be honest with you niles this movie was garbage <laughs> uh, you know i don't think i will go as far to say this is garbage but <laughs> this is this is the lower tier of the mcu production company movie that, it definitely wasn't good ever since we've been doing these marvel movies together I think the only one I've hated just as much, I think I hate this one now more, was The Eternals. I hate. I knew you were going to say The Eternals. I hated The Eternals, but now I think I hate The Marvels. <laughs> you know, I feel like I need to see it a second time just to get some more clarity about the storyline or whatever, but I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to waste my time. I don't think you should waste your time. I love Samuel L. Jackson, right? Nick, Nick Fury. Perfect. I love him. Even in here, he was getting on my nerves. Over the top, not funny, forced. I was mad at Sam. Like, Sam, what are you doing? Sam, stop. You know, you know when you have a set, an actor like Samuel Jackson, a man of his status, and the movie is still below par, you know there's a problem. In the island, that one island they go to where they have to sing? What the hell was that? They brought that from an actual Miss Marvel comic run. Actually, I don't know if it was Miss Marvel specifically, but they definitely brought that specific scene from a comic line, and I didn't like that either. They do that a lot. They bring inspiration from the old school comics. Most of the time it works, but they try to take out the corny stuff, and that they failed this time. Kamala, the one who's on Earth, the human on Earth, and when she gets like zapped, they're all changing places. I like that the the, the power entanglement was having them like every time they should use their powers at the same time, they would switch places. So I thought that was a cool part of the movie, but. That's one of the few parts of the movie that I enjoyed. For me, my favorite parts in this movie was the beginning when she's like daydreaming and it's like artwork, how they showed the artwork, like a comic feel to the- That was really cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a high school girl just, you know, bored sitting in the yes. classroom and going through her uh, memories or whatever, drawing them out. That was pretty cool. I did like that. Yeah. And then the end when the credits came. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have anything positive to say about this movie at all. 
What about that stupid cat? I mean, they really shoved that cat down your throat, man. The cat is called a, you know, a flirking big er part of the uh, Miss Marvel stories. Mm -hmm. You can tell the uh, after credits, they were filled with them. I mean, throughout the movie, it was filled with that one flirking her pet. Uh, why am I, why am I focused on the flirking? Exactly. Why is that the best, almost the best part of your movie? The kitty with, te with testicles, the testicles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those testicles look like garbage when every time they shot out of that cat. Me personally, I did like the CGI on the movie. I didn't think tentacles look too bad. You know, I didn't think it looked too Dude, corny. You gotta watch it. As far as it, everything yeah. else, like the, they looked awful, especially when it wrapped around something. You're just like, what the what what the hell is that shit? But you know, as far as everything else, like you know, the heroes and the villains power sets, you know, like when when the bangles will power up, when Darbin will use her staff. I do like that. I'm, you know, I think that's what Marvel does best, honestly. The CGI, you know, the effects. So, you know, CGI is never really a problem with me and Marvel. But there's a big question of, is Marvel dying? Right now, I think we're Marveled out. Marvel's been great, right? It, it's been terrific. I am a Marvel fan, but even now, I don't look forward to these movies anymore. I used to be a big spectacle when these things would come out, and you're like, I got to see this thing. Shove so much Marvel down our throat that it's just not an event anymore. It's just a, eh, another Marvel movie. We had a special, you know, affinity with Iron Man. I did anyway. I, I don't know if you did. I was a big Iron Man. Absolutely. I I never liked Iron Man as much until Robert Downey Jr. came into the cut and brought the character to real life. In my opinion, he was the star that glued the universe together as far as making it entertaining the Marvel world. And since, you know, he's dead. And even if they reboot the character, how are you going to replace Robert Downey Jr.? I mean, I thought he was, his his comedy seriousness made the, the character so complete. They used all their household names. That's why they're bringing in all these little guys that nobody knows about, unless you read comics or whatever. Right. It's not working. They're not making compelling stories. What do you score this movie? I can't wait. Wait, because I've never seen you this disappointed in a Marvel movie. So I can't wait to hear your score. Here's Niles' overall score. I'm going to have to give this a three. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! He's giving it a three! <laughs> I've never heard you give a three, man. In any movie we've yeah, done together. Man, you know, I'm pretty generous, man. But like I said, like, you even heard it in my description when I explained this movie. It's really hard to follow, especially if it's like, I watch the shows. If you don't watch the shows, you really don't know what's going on. And that was my case. I think in the years we've been doing this, these reviews together, my friend, this is probably the lowest score you have ever given any movie. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm but to hear you say that makes me even feel better about my score than I'm going to get. Overall, I give this a 2.1. This is shit. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, we, we were both honestly being generous with our scores. The acting from the main villain, Dar Ben, uh -huh. she was a good actor. Uh -huh. She brought it to the table. Um, acting of Miss Marvel, the uh, Pakistani actor, mm -hmm. he brought the energy. But those two brought a lot of energy to this movie. You know, other than them, it was like, you know. Who cares? I stunk it up today. So overall, Niles gives it a three. I give it a 2.1. That's our review for the Marvels. Till next time, thanks for watching. <clears throat> I'm taking shots of the heat. Now I can feel it in my teeth. Huh? I feel the lyrics start to seep. Huh? My veins like I bleed. Oh. Drop that bass on the beat for a minute. When I spit these words to the beat, no limit. I don't make no sense. I don't need no gimmick. I'ma say what I think. Be real specific, and I master the chase. I'm a